Our vision for Wildlings Forest School is really to enable children to experience freedom and we do that through nature connection and adventure play. We're really focusing on the benefits of being out in nature and the ways that we do that is through our nature immersion programs. So we have nature play groups and forest kindies, homeschool programs, holiday programs, workshops for educators and we have an online store, a podcast and online courses so that we can also reach a global audience. So we're outdoor educators, we're teachers by trade, so running a business was completely foreign to us. And so those first two years was a crash course <laughs> in a world that we didn't know anything about. So some of the insights that we've gained along the way are being our most authentic selves. Yeah, so when we tell our story, I think yeah. that's when we really connect with our audience. Mm. Um, and when we connect with our audience, then we're able to get that word of mouth out and we're best able to advocate for the children which is what we're trying to do is get more kids outdoors and yeah. when we get more kids outdoors then the parents are so happy that they then become a really great marketing avenue. During COVID obviously we had to shut our programs down that gave us the pause to actually think about how we're going to diversify and extend what we do beyond our local community mm. so one of the first things we dove right into was creating the Raising Wildlings podcast. We actually had time to sit mm. and smash that out. And we decided to also do an online course as well. Yeah, I think it really brings out that creative thinking, mm. you know, like we spend so much time running our business, we don't actually get to work on all of the other things that we want to do and to actually be creative. So our reach, instead of being really quite geographically isolated here to the Sunshine Coast and mm. expanding into Brisbane, is now Australia wide and we're actually getting lots of inquiries overseas for consults and whatnot because of that expansion. Yeah. One of the ways that the podcast is also helping in our advocacy work is that we're able to speak to other experts outside of Australia that are able to educate parents and educators on how to respectfully communicate with our children, all about mm. risky play, all about getting children outdoors and the benefits to it. So while it's almost guerrilla marketing and it's guerrilla educating, people listen because they want to learn about forest school, but they're actually getting a lot of parenting tips or tips from educators. When you hear the passion and, and the experience that actually comes from the mouths of people and not just experts but people that are living an alternative life and, and really embedding you know how we raise our children into everything it, it just brings out this authenticity and and people really take it to heart and can action those things a lot a lot easier than mm. just reading it. Through our business we've had multiple opportunities to work with the Sunshine Coast Council and probably one of the most prominent memorable for us mm. was being part of the refinery which was an eight-week boot camp to boost our business and go through mentoring and yeah it was a, a phenomenal experience so we wouldn't be here without council support we've we had wouldn't. grants we've done thousand play streets was a big project that nikki worked yep. with council on and the also the horizon, horizon fest. fest we just absolutely love being able to deliver programs mm. for children through the arts when it comes to giving advice about business the very first thing that we always come back to is our vision. We had a very strong, authentic vision from the, from the get-go and everything that we do is always coming back to that and then from there we set our goals. So we make time to do that. When we got to that planning, we would look at what was really fun, what we really enjoyed and then what we couldn't stand as a business and we would either outsource it or scrap it. And I think as soon as you can outsource, outsource yeah. and get rid of the things that are not bringing you any joy being a local business champion to us is, it's really a validation of the hard work that we've put in over the four years, particularly in a, a new industry, in a burgeoning industry that isn't recognised often in education or outdoor recreation. And yet here we are thriving and mm. instead of just being the two of us, we're now employing between 15 and 30 people across South East Queensland. So it's providing work, it's providing yeah. getting our local children outdoors. Yeah. They're reaping the benefits of being out in nature. That's it, we're achieving our mission, but at the same time, really nice to be able to create careers for people and work that they really value. The culture that we create within Wildlings is mm. um, something that we're really proud of. I'm Vicky Oliver. And I'm Nikki Farrell. And we're the co-founders of Wildlings Forest School.